Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video. I <laughs> I can't find my camera anywhere. I have no idea where I left it. Not a clue. Um, so I'm off to a great start with this vlogging thing. Um, that and the fact that I posted that video I don't even know how long ago saying I'm gonna start again and did I start again? No. I did make several videos however they never made it off my camera because <laughs> They're just, they weren't worth posting because either I'm so busy doing exciting things that I don't really want to be recording. I just want to like be present in the moment or I have plenty of time and energy to record what's going on around me, but I'm not doing anything. So therefore it is useless. So I decided I wanted to put a bit more focus on what I wanted to make videos about because lifestyle vlog is not going to work because of the simple fact that when I'm doing stuff I don't want to be recording and when I'm not doing stuff it's not worth recording. So um, I want to start doing, um, so as most of you probably know, I've been um, working towards getting certified to teach group fitness classes and which is really really exciting and I can't wait to start doing it. I have one more exam. One. And um and then I'll be official and can start applying at places and I'm very excited. Um but that being said, um because it's New Year's and um if you don't know I work at a gym and I've seen I've already started to see the the newbies and um I don't want them to stay newbies. I want them to come back all the time, all the year round. I don't want them to be like first week in January and then leave because I see these people come in and it's my, like, it's part of my job to be like super welcoming and accommodating and like make the gym a really welcoming, non-scary place. Um, and I think I'm pretty good at it, but that doesn't change the fact that going to the gym for the first time, it's really scary. <laughs> and, um, it's it's kind of hard for me to comprehend just because I'm I'm there every day and to me it's like the just the most normal thing in the world. But when people come in and tell me they've never been inside a gym, they've never worked out in their life, if they've never played any sports, they have like absolutely no concept of like training the body. It kind of boggles my mind and of course that's going to be like terrifying to walk into a place that's like focused on something that you've you have no grid for. So um in order to, <laughs> I guess I'm taking work home a little bit. I want to make going to the gym less scary for everyone. And so what I've decided to do is instead of a lifestyle vlog, I'm going to be making videos about like your first time at the gym. Like I'm going to go through it, through the equipment. This is what the equipment does. This is what muscles it's going to work. This is how you use it properly. This is the form you're going to use. Um, this is the, this is how you choose what weight you're going to start with. This is going to choose, like, this is how you choose how many times you're going to lift that specific weight. Um, I'm just going to walk you through it. Um, obviously I would totally recommend getting a personal trainer if you've never gone to the gym before. Um, like that's my number one recommendation. If you've never been to the gym, like get a personal trainer, they will walk you through and they will be awesome. Um, make sure you <laughs> make, do the consultation, make sure you guys like get along and then get a personal trainer. But, um, I do realize that, um, if it's something new, and you're already apprehensive about it, you probably don't want to invest more into something that you're unsure about. So um, the people who are like confident in getting a personal trainer, do it. Um, for people who are more like me, I guess, and a little more shy and who kind of want to do the research on their own first, but are kind of bombarded by just like all the fitness YouTubers <laughs> who are wearing their like $100 leggings um, who have been weightlifting since they were, like, able to lift things, who have, like, the Instagram model bodies, um, who just kind of sit down in front of a machine and start using it without really explaining what they're doing, except, like, this is gonna make my booty big, like, that it's really overwhelming, and I, um, and I, I just want to help you also, apparently I have no more space on my phone and um, it cut me off. So I'm gonna, this video is not in my, like, this isn't working. First I can't find my camera, then I don't have space on my phone. Anyway, um, the point of this video is what 
do you guys want to see, whether you're an experienced gym goer or not? Um, what do you think is the most important to prioritize doing first? Should I do, um, like, I'm trying to do one video a week. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm going to try. What do you think is more important? Me doing this is how to use this machine videos, or this is how you work out at home videos, or this is how you read a food label videos, um, or like kind of alternate between all of them. Like, what do you think is a good priority to focus on first? Or like I said, I could just rotate and do like, this week I'm going to show you how to use this machine, and then next week I'm going to show you how to do a home workout, and next week I'm going to show you how to read a food label. Like, what do you guys think? And because I have no space left, that's all the time I have. Um, please reply because I want to make videos um, that people actually want to watch. So, love you guys. Bye.